Welcome to Smart Remarks. Let's see your voter ID. So Pennsylvania has a new voter ID law, as you've probably heard, and the purpose is to stamp out voter fraud in Pennsylvania, which basically doesn't exist. No, the real purpose of the uh, law was inadvertently admitted by Pennsylvania House Republican leader Mike Terzai uh, earlier this summer when he said that this was going to, quote, allow Governor Romney to win the state of Pennsylvania. Now, how is it going to allow Romney to win Pennsylvania? Uh, easy. It's going to suppress the minority vote. A lot of voters, a lot of urban, urban voters, rather, uh, might have a variety of reasons that they don't have a photo ID. If they don't get one before November, they're not going to be able to vote. And so if you have fewer people, vo people voting in Pennsylvania cities, Democratic strongholds, the idea is that this will help the Republicans uh, come November. Now, Republicans, of course, reject this, and so did Pennsylvania's Commonwealth Court, which on August 15th ruled that the scheme could go forward. It's been appealed to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court so who knows? Your average Republican uh, supports the law because, after all, they know in their gut that voter fraud is widespread in Pennsylvania, even though nothing of the sort has been proven. But they also just don't understand why anyone wouldn't have an ID. I mean, after all, they've got a driver's license. Everyone on their cul-de-sac has a driver's license. Who doesn't have a driver's license? Who doesn't have photo ID? And what's wrong with them? But see, here's my theory. Voter ID may suppress turnout in urban areas, but I also suspect it's going to hurt Republicans. Two, here's my prediction. Pennsylvania polling places on election day will be one giant cluster you-know-what as people show up and aren't allowed to vote. You're going to have white people from the suburbs, uh, from rural Pennsylvania, who might have an ID that expired a few years ago. They didn't realize it. They'll show up and they'll be told, Sorry, you'll have little old ladies, Fox News watchers who haven't had a valid driver's license in 10 years will show up at the place they've always voted and they'll be told, you can't vote. Uh, then there are those with inconsistencies in their IDs. Uh, the sister of a colleague uh, here at the newspaper got a call from someone helpfully informing her that while her name is Mary Ann, the first name is Mary Ann and it's on the driver's license that way, her voter registration has Ann as her middle name. It's an inconsistency. And the caller told this woman that, well, that means you won't be able to vote in November. That's wrong. She can go clear it up. She can go get re-registered. But Pennsylvania's law does say that the name on your ID has to, quote unquote, substantially conform uh, to the uh, name on the registration record, meaning that if you get married and change your name and you've got an inconsistency between your ID and the registration record, you might not be able to vote. Finally, there's the plain vote. I'm working on a story about this for our newspaper this week. Uh, you have a lot of Amish and uh, Old Order Mennonites here in Lancaster County, but other parts of Pennsylvania, they don't vote very often, but when they do vote, they tend to vote Republican. They registered in record numbers in 2004 in order to help reelect President George W. Bush. Uh, the problem is that a lot of plain folks object to having their photo taken for religious purposes, and so to get a non-photo ID, they have to answer a list of 18 questions such as this. How many members are there of your religion? How many congregations? What's the process by which you came to the religion? There's some speculation that a lot of plain folks, rather than answer these invasive questions, just say they're not going to bother. They won't vote. Again, they don't vote in huge numbers, but when they vote, they vote Republican. Call it the law of unintended consequences. If Pennsylvania Supreme Court lets voter ID stand, I think it probably will suppress a minority turnout. But it also is going to harm Republicans as you're going to have people in polling places across Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania saying, I couldn't vote! And so ultimately, it may wind up a wash.